And of course, our other big story at this hour that we are talking about tonight, March Madness has officially taken over. That's right. The first round of the NCAA tournament tipped off today. We have four local teams invited to the big dance this year and two are playing tonight. And we also have team coverage tonight. We are at watch parties all across town and across the country. Let's start though in Salt Lake City with Krem2 sports reporter Andrew Quinn. And Andrew, you found some <laughs> excited fans out there tonight. <laughs> we sure do. Good evening, Mark and Whitney. We are just about 20 minutes away from tip off of the first round NCAA tournament matchup between Gonzaga and McNeese State. Now this will mark the first ever NCAA tournament game for freshman Braden Huff and Dusty Stromer. Huff will be the tallest player on the floor tonight and had a lot of success earlier on this season against teams who have smaller lineups. So we will see if he will be able to use that to his advantage tonight. As for Stromer, he has really come on of late and provided some strong defensive minutes in relief of Ben Gregg. I spoke with the freshmen about their excitement for their first ever March Madness game. Yeah, that's a big reason why I chose to come here. Uh, new playing big games um, from beginning to end of the season. And uh, this is what we build up for uh, to play in March and really excited for the opportunity. It's just starting out now, so it, it's been, I'm just excited to get out on that floor and, and you know, see the fans and the crowd and play the game. Now, of course, there are many Zag fans who have made the short trip down to Salt Lake City. I spoke with a couple of them before this. Take a listen to what they had to say about tonight's game. You know, I think I think McNeese is a you know not the the draw that we wanted as a Zags, but I think you know Few's been here a few times, you know, 26 years in a row. So I guess you know we trust in Few, and I think the experience is going to win out. And Zags have depth; they got dudes. So you know. I'm, I'm all Zags. Go Zags. What are you hoping for here tonight? A good win. Well, there you have it. The fans are ready to go. Tip off tonight is set for 425 Spokane time. I think if Graham EK can stay out of foul trouble, the Zags will be in good shape tonight. You can catch the game over on TBS, then bring it back on over to Krem 2. We will have all of your Gonzaga reaction following the conclusion of tonight's game. For now, reporting outside the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Andrew Quinn, Krem 2 Sports. Andrew, thank you very much. And of course, fans who couldn't travel with the team are eagerly watching tonight. Yeah, Krem 2's Nicole Hernandez is live with our favorite fan GU club tonight, <laughs> yeah. Grandmas for Greg. Nicole, how's it going? I am having so much fun, and I am far from the only person having fun because I am here with all of the Grandmas for Greg. We're here. We're ready. We're pouring drinks. Life is good. Okay, I have Marilyn, I have Donnie, and I have Anne. These are our three center ladies, front and center for the game. Marilyn started Grandma's for Greg. Why did you start it? Well, I saw Ben Greg walk on the court. He was just a new newbie, and he was so handsome and so young and so innocent looking and a good player. And I said, oh, I'd like for him to be my grandson. <laughs> and about that time, I was in the pool in our wonderful facility here. And Joe, one of our male friends that's a Grandma for Greg fan, said, you know, you sound like a Grandma for Greg. And I said, that sounds like a good name. And now Ben Greg has like so many grandmas to choose from. <laughs> Anyone you want to can be his grandma. Okay, also Donnie here, like I mentioned, Donnie, you got to do something amazing this year. What did you check off your bucket list? I got to go to my first G GU game in the kennel Amazing. against Loyola Marymount, and they won, and we had wonderful seats right behind the students, mid-court. It was the best thing that's happened to me, and I don't know how long. My kids took me, my daughter and my son took me to the Gonzaga game. Amazing. And you got she even got a picture with the bulldog. It was great. What was your favorite part of the game? Bryn Gregg. <laughs> that was a dumb question. <laughs> All right, we're, of course. No, we're going to keep hanging out with our grandmas for Greg all day long, so I'm going to go eat and have some fun. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, Nicole, sounds like a great assignment tonight, right? Absolutely. Oh, man, love those ladies. All right, right across from the Spokane Arena, that's where games are being played tomorrow and Saturday, and that's also where we find Krem 2's Nathan Hyun. And Nathan, how's the environment down there tonight? 
hey Mark, well, no grandmas out here. It's pretty much the calm before the storm. But the anticipation is certainly building for the first round of the NCAA tournament, which will be played right here at the arena tomorrow. Teams already began practicing today for their big games. And it's quite a special treat for fans, both those in town for the games, but also people from Spokane. The arena opened up today for fans to watch teams practice for free. The arena opened at 11 a.m. and practice goes until 5 p.m. So there's still a little bit more time to go catch some action. Today's just a precursor for the main event, though. In less than 24 hours, the arena will be sold out for the first game between San Diego State and the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So we'll check back in with you guys a little bit later, but we're going to see if we can get inside the arena to check out the action in there. For now, Mark, Whitney, we'll send it back to you.